This week, Apple released watchOS 11.1 Developer Beta 2. So far, there's not a ton in this update. I'm really hoping that we see some more stuff soon, but as of right now, there's just not much going on. I will say that in point one, I did have a lot better battery life than I did in just straight watchOS 11. Talk more about that in the very near future. If you look at the watchOS version and the build number, this is 22R5554E. So this is an E, usually as we get closer, it will go to like an A. So hopefully we'll see some changes before we get there. As of right now, the sleep apnea detection still is not here in the betas. Now, I heard they did get FDA approval in the US. I'm not sure currently if it's available for others that aren't using the beta. I have heard that it is, then other people say it's not. So I'm not really sure what to believe as of right now, but in the beta, I cannot activate it on my phone, on my watch or anywhere. Sleep stages still work great. Apple did post some release notes for what is new. And mostly it's just a lot of developer stuff with store kit and widget bundles. It did state that some of the larger complications and the widget view complications they did fix an issue with like the font metrics. I'm guessing that's also mainly for developers, but that was something that they stated as well. Now, one thing that I have had issues with since using watchOS 11.1 beta one and beta two is with taking screenshots of my Apple Watch. If you didn't know, if you enable it, which you can enable it, if you go into the settings and you go into general, and then you scroll down to screenshots you can actually press the crown and the side button together and it will take a screenshot and send that to your iphone well since point one i've not been getting like the reliability of getting those actually to come through on my iphone has been very rare and just super annoying so i'm hoping that bug gets fixed very soon i'm not sure if this is a bug with the watch itself or something with 18.1 but one or the other, or maybe even both, are kind of having a little bit of issue communicating with each other as far as sending the screenshots over to the iPhone. This build was also very large, so it was three gigabytes. So it wasn't just like one of those, the updates only, it was basically probably a full install of the whole watch OS. Hoping to see some other performance gains. I mean, everything seems pretty fluid. So if I scroll through here, I've not had any issues going through everything. I've been pretty happy with how everything is working. I will say one other bug that's really bothering me and I'm hoping it's a bug. I hope that Apple actually fixes it. So if you look right here, this is the new reflections watch face and you can see the second hand ticks when the watch face is on. So this is its always on display mode. And you'll notice that the second hand is still visible and still ticking. This is a series 10 feature and I love it. It's so cool. It's nice to see that second hand while it's on the always on display mode. But if I go to like one of the older watch faces and I go to the always on display mode, there's no second hand. And it's that way on like all the old watch faces. So they added this feature just to the new watch faces, which means that it's only available with the reflections and then also with the flux watch face, which is right here. And you'll see the little line move up. I really hope that that wasn't Apple's end goal there and that they add it to all the old watch faces. I'm, I do enjoy the new watch faces, but they're not my go-tos. So I'm really hoping Apple fixes this in one of these point updates before 11.1 is fully released. Now, as I stated earlier, the battery life in 11.1 beta one was actually an improvement from what it was before. So I was really happy to see that. Um, one night overnight, I only lost about 7% of battery life, which is really good, especially on the non ultra watches. Now, last night, I lost a little bit more than that, but I had just installed this update. And sometimes when you install an update, it takes a little while, it takes a day or two before it syncs everything over and gets everything kind of situated before the battery kind of just calms down. But overall, I have seen some improvements with battery life. So if I go down here to battery life, we can go ahead and just check it out. Right now I'm at 94%. 
I charged it up to 100% just an hour ago, and I've been recording for much longer than what this video is, so there's a reason why it's dropped that much. In an hour, it probably would have only been at like 98 if I was using the watch normally and not recording on it. And then if I go to battery health, you can see it's got optimized charge limit on, and my current maximum capacity is 100%. So that's all good to see as well. Now, another thing is in the Vitals app, I'm still working on getting all my features working. So right now you got the heart rate, you got the respiratory rate, the wrist temperature. I got one more sleep and then I'll finally get the wrist temperature baseline from the Apple Watch. So that's something that I've just had to rework on this watch, had it on the Ultra and then my sleep duration, all that's working good. You'll notice there's no blood oxygen sensor. That's because I'm in the US and that feature is currently disabled because of the lawsuit with Massimo. Hopefully that is decided soon because I'd really like to have that feature back. But as of right now, we still just don't get it. If you're outside of the US, you probably have that sensor still, but here in the US, it is still just disabled. Now you may be wondering, what is up with my background? Well, these are all my watch bands and you can't even see them all in the shot, but I wanted to showcase them on my new Series 10 natural polished titanium Apple Watch. So I made a video and you can click right here to watch it. And if you're interested and you wanna stay up to date on what's coming out with watchOS 11.1, 0 .1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I cover everything. Now I know this one wasn't a big update, but in the future, I can promise you Apple's gonna make some changes. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. God bless.